Does your backyard need more life? Belgard's Design Form Square Planter is a great way to add a little something to any corner of your yard. Build your own with these quick and easy steps. Before you get started, you're going to want to have the following. A level, measuring tape, a carpenter square, rubber mallet, and a drill with a deep hex socket and adapter. For your safety, wear boots, gloves, and glasses. Step one, prepare your base. Make sure you're building on a new or existing patio, on poured concrete, or on a compacted foundation. Always level the ground before installation. Step two, grab your Design Forms hardware kit and assemble your brackets by hand. In total, you will need eight large panels, four small panels, and three hardware kits for assembling eight of bracket A, four of bracket B, four of bracket C, and four of bracket H. You will also need 19 of assembly piece I and 16 of assembly piece J. Note, before assembling your brackets, make sure the screw snaps into place when connecting the bolt to the slider. Step three. Once your brackets are assembled, it's time to place your first large panel. Place your second panel next to it at a 90 degree angle. Use your carpenter square so that your angle is just right. Now, it's time to make a corner connection. Here's how you make a 90 degree connection. Slide your pre-assembled corner bracket into place. Use your drill to secure your hardware. When attaching the next panel, offset and make another corner as shown. You'll need to follow the same steps for the fourth panel to create a square. To attach your second row of large panels to the first, place a large panel on top of your first panel. It's time to make a vertical connection. Note, this vertical connection uses a pre-assembled bracket. All you need to do is slide it into the proper channel and lock it in place with your drill. Follow the same steps for corner and vertical connections. Be sure to offset your blocks. And now, you've got a second row. Step four. Before you can attach the small panels to your large panel base, slip four slider bolts into their proper channels in the large design forms. Consult your install guide to make sure they are placed in the correct channels. Each time you place a small panel, make sure to slide three slider bolts into the bottom channel of the design form. Time to place your first small panel on top of your second row. Start at the corner where you began the last row. Make sure the enclosed side of the panel is facing the corner, as shown here. This will be specific based on which panel starts your corner. Then, you will connect your small panel to the second row of large panels using a vertical connection. Here's how to make a vertical connection. Attach one end of your vertical bracket to the center slider bolt in your small design form and attach the other end to one of your pre-placed slider bolts in your base. Create a 90 degree angle with your second small panel and attach your corner bracket. To make a 90 degree connection between small panels, attach your corner bracket to the nearest slider bolts in the lower channel of your small design forms and tighten with your drill. Note, you'll also need to make a vertical connection with each 90 degree connection. Continue to work your way around, offsetting your blocks. And just like that, you have plenty of room to grow while still having your weekend ahead of you. Belgard Design Forms, backyards made easy.